Image copyright Reuters image caption James Alex Fields JNRS mother said she did not really talk to him about his political views A picture has been emerging of the main suspect in the killing of the woman near a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, on Saturday. James Alex Fields Jr., who is 20 years old and originally from Kentucky, was arrested and charged after a car was deliberately driven into a crowd of anti-fascism protesters. His mother told local media that he did not openly express extreme views. But evidence is emerging of a very misguided and disillusioned young man. Media playback is unsupported on your device Media caption footage captured the moment a car rammed into a crowd of counter-protesters in Charlottesville Mr. Field's former teacher characterized him as such to the Cincinnati Enquirer and said his high school research made it clear he had beliefs that were very much along the lines of the neo-Nazi movement. A lot of boys get interested in the Germans and Nazis because they are interested in World War II. But James took it to another level. His mother, Samantha Bloom, had not yet been contacted by authorities when reporters informed her of her son's arrest. She told journalists that she and her son had moved from Kentucky to Mamoue, Ohio, a few years ago for her job. Image copyright Albemarle County Jail Lap Getty Image Caption Fields is currently held in Albemarle County Jail, facing charges for killing one and injuring 19 million rupees. Bloom, who is paraplegic, said that her son moved out of her home five or six months ago, and that she had been watching his cat while he was in Virginia. She said she did not know the nature of the event he was attending, telling reporters I try to stay out of his political views. I don't get too involved. I thought it had something to do with U.S. President Trump. I told him to be careful, Mrs. Bloom said she advised her son before he departed, adding if they're going to rally to make sure H.E.S. doing it peacefully. Mr. Field's father was killed by a drink driver months before he was born, his uncle told the Washington Post, adding that he had left money in a trust for his child to access when he turned 18. When he turned 18, he demanded his money, and that was the last I had any contact with him, the uncle said. During a brief court appearance on Monday, he told a judge that he could not afford to hire a lawyer, and identified his employers as Securitas and Ohio Omni. Image caption The group called themselves the face of American fascism The Toledo Blade reports that in June he was found guilty of having expired or unlawful license plates on his Dodge Challenger. The newspaper also reports that while living in Florence, Kentucky, his mother called 911 at least nine times to say she was fearful of and needed help with her sometimes violent son. According to calls for service records provided by the Florence Police Department to the Associated Press, Mrs. Bloom said her son had stood behind her wheelchair wielding a long kitchen knife, and had hit her and locked her in a washroom after she told him to stop playing video games. She also told officers that her son was on medication to help control his temper. After enlisting in the military, Mr. Fields was released in December 2015 for failing to make training standards, the military confirmed. BuzzFeed reports that a now-deleted Facebook account appearing to belong to him had overt references to Nazism and a Make America Great Again banner. It also had a photograph of the 20-year-old posing with a car resembling the one used in the attack and a variety of memes popular with white supremacists and neo-Nazis who have coalesced under the banner of the so-called alt-right, including Pepe the Frog. BuzzFeed also posted YouTube footage appearing to show Mr. Fields chanting homophobic slurs at counter-protesters at the Unite the Right rally hours before the alleged attack. He was pictured at the event second from left above carrying a shield with a logo of an openly fascist group Vanguard America. The group's website declares America is under attack and says if current trends continue, white Americans will be a minority in the nation they built. It's time to take a stand. They released a statement on Twitter denying James Fields had been a member. He has been charged with one count of second-degree murder, three counts of malicious wounding and one count of failing to stop after a hit-and-run. Republican Senator Ted Cruz called on the Department of Justice to prosecute the suspect for domestic terrorism. The FBI confirmed they had opened a civil rights investigation into the incident.